Hello students, this is Taranum Jahan and I hope you people are fine over there. So here I am uh, with the chapters which we have already finished uh, but some contents have been there that has to be discussed in the viewer education. We are going to discuss under the slides. So as I already told you that apart from the NCRT, we are following one side book that is Viva Education and uh, uh, some chapters are uh, same in both the books as it is the 8th standard uh, books so uh, some contents are uh, same in both the books but some extra content has been given in your Viva Education which is not being discussed in your NCRT. So those contents we are going to discuss it in separately. As I have to mention it in the same uh, chapter, but uh, Viva Education book was not available to me, but now it is available and I know that what contents have been available there, which are not been mentioned in the NCRT. So now we are, I'm discussing the same contents which are not there in your NCRT. So here uh, in Viva Education, natural resources, land, soil, water is one chapter and natural vegetation and, and life is another chapter that is chapter 2 and chapter 3 in your Viva education whereas in your NCRT land, soil, water, natural vegetation and wildlife is one chapter everything is mentioned in one chapter that is chapter 2 of your NCRT both the chapters are same, contents are same only some extra content have been discussed in your Viva education and we are discussing those under these slides which I have missed in your land, soil, water, natural vegetation and wildlife. Otherwise, I have added the same slides in that lesson but I was not having the Viva education during that period. So, types of soil. So, in ancient India, soil was classified on the basis of its fertility. India with its varied rocks, relief, climate and vegetation has a great variety of soil. The following type of soils are found in India. You just have a look. Alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterate soil, desert soil, mountain soil, saline and alkaline soil, petty and mashy soil. Now let's see the first one. Alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is most widespread. It is found in the plains of North India and in the flood plains and deltas of the major rivers. This soil is formed due to the deposition of sediments by the river. Alluvial soil is very fertile and support agriculture. If you have a look at the map, you can see that where the alluvial soil is found. Black soil. Before that, even look at the Indian map. See the purplish shaded area. This is where, these are the places where you find the black soil. Now what is black soil? Black soil is formed due to the weathering of volcanic rocks. Therefore, it is also called as a black lava soil. It is made up of fine clear material and can hold moisture. Thus, this type of soil is found in the Deccan Trap region and locally called rigor. Black lava soil is best suited for cotton and sugar cane. Red soil. Now see the map and see the red region. Here we find the red soil. Now what is red soil? Red soil is an old igneous rocks weather to form red soil. The red soil is found in the peninsular India. If you see the peninsular area in the India, the red color of the soil is due to the high iron content in it. This soil can be made fertile by adding manure. What is manure? The waste of animals and the dry leaves, all these manures and can chemical fertilizers and you can buy, uh, make this soil as a fertile one because this soil is not that fertile. So in order to make it fertile, you have to add manure and chemical fertilizer in it. Then the next is laterite soil. Now before that, see the map where the laterite soil is found, see the yellowish area. These are the regions where you find the laterite soil. So what is laterite soil now? Laterite soil is formed when heavy rain wash away the fertile upper part of the soil. Therefore, the soil is less fertile. It is found in the western Ghats. If you see the map, western Ghats and in the flat upland where the heavy rain 
rainfall occurs such soil can also be supported pastures and shrub where the heavy rainfall is see that arunachal pradesh side here is the area where you find the heaviest rainfall so that is the reason why we find the laterate soil over there and it is it only supports the pastures and the shrubs small trees small grasses the next is desert soil nothing but the arid soil now just see the map where you find the arid soil see the green part not the fluorescent green the light green part there you find the arid soil near the place uh, rajasthan area so here it is an arid soil or a desert soil now what is desert soil desert soil is found in hot and semi arid region and it has a thick layer of sand this soil lacks humus content but contains a high proportion of soluble salt with the help of irrigation a variety of crops can be grown in the desert soil now the next is mountain soil mountain soil or a forest soil is one and the same so now you see the fluorescent green part near the jammu and kashmir area there you find the mountain soil now what is mountain soil mountain soil is mainly found in the hill slopes covered with forest this soil is formed due to the deposition of organic matter and thus rich in humus it is suitable for tea coffee and spice cultivation distribution of natural vegetation plants need air water and sunlight and nutrients from the soil to grow the growth of vegetation is mainly controlled by temperature and moisture the availability of these essential requirement varies from place to place thus we see a large variety of plants on the earth we can broadly classify the natural vegetation into forest grassland and shrubs so let discuss one by one in the separate side heading what is forest what is grassland and what is shrubs now what is forest so forest is the cluster of trees which grows close to each other are called as forest they grow in hot and humid climate a true forest is one in which the trees grow so close to one another that their canopy is touch canopies you just see in the image the trees which are very closed and look like a canopy that is cone shape is called as canopy is touch the forest are not not found in the regions that are too hot or too cold and the forest structure and the importance of forest is the forest helps to enhance the quality of the environment it modifies the local climate they control the soil erosion they also regulate the flow of stream they control the wind force they maintain temperature they cause rainfall they provide humus to the soil and they also provide shelter to the wildlife so this is what the importance of the forest and the definition of the forest now let's see the different type of a forest that are found in the complete world the first one is tropical deciduous forest tropical evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest temperate evergreen forest coniferous forest and mediterranean vegetation so now we'll study one by one in a separate side heading what kind of a forest are these the different types of forest will be discussed in the different side headings now you just have a close look at this world map and see the distribution of natural vegetation in the world like where the tropical rainforest is where is the temperate deciduous forest where you find the temperate coniferous forest each and everything has been marked with the different colors and you can see uh, by just reading those uh, points there look at the colors and find out where the forest types are been found so with this you will clearly understand where the different types of the forest in which region it has been found tropical evergreen forest these are the forest which are very near to the equator that is between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn we find this tropical evergreen forest they are also called as the tropical rain forest here the climate is very no, hot and humid the rainfall is throughout the year and sunlight does not penetrate down because the thick canopies are so closely spaced 
trees over here that the sunlight does not penetrate inside the forest and the trees that are found over here are rose ebony and mahogany tropical deciduous forest these forests usually shed their leaves annually these trees are found in the equatorial region while the deciduous trees are found in the monsoon region this is because the equatorial region is hot and wet throughout the year while the monsoon region has a distinct dry season the equatorial forest have a large variety of tree species like ebony mahogany rosewood rubber etc whereas the main trees that are found in the monsoon region are teal sal sesame sandalwood and bombay bamboo sorry so and the animal that are found over here are tiger lion elephants langurs monkeys are the common animal that are found in this region temperate evergreen forest these are the forest which are found between the tropic of cancer and the antarctic circle and the tropic of cancer and arctic circles so usually they are commonly found in the eastern margin of the continent that is in the southeast usa south china and in the southeast brazil and here these mostly these forest have the trees shrubs and bushes there is a less undergrowth most of the trees are deciduous which shed their leaves during the autumn and the main trees that are found in this forest are oak ash beech elm and pine in this forest they comprise of both the hard and the soft trees and the hard trees that are comprises of olive oak oak and stone pine temperate deciduous forest the temperate deciduous forest are found in the cool temperature region that is in the eastern and the western margin of the continent temperate deciduous forest are named so because the temperature here is a temperate or you can say the moderate one this forest receive around 30 to 60 inches of the rain every year and are they are ranked second only to the rain forest as they are the rainiest biome and the temperature over here in the winters are typically the temperatures are like freezing one the animals that are found over here are deer fox wolves etc and the trees which are found over here are oak ash beech etc mediterranean vegetation or a mediterranean forest mediterranean forest are found in both the hemisphere on the western margin of the continent in the areas surrounding the mediterranean sea these forests are not very dense the trees here are broad leaved and evergreen they are of medium height some of them have special adaptive features like thick bark small waxy leaves and a long roots to combat the summer heat The trees which are found over here are olive, oak, cork, fig, laurel, pine, etc. And the animal that are found over here are wolves, foxes, rabbits, vultures, and eagles. Coniferous forest, which are popularly known as taiga. Coniferous forest grows between uh, the fifty-five degree and seventy degree of the latitude in both the hemisphere. the temperature is low here all the year round and the trees that are uh, grow over here are the tall and straight with the small needle like leaves they provide soft wood useful for making furniture matchsticks paper newsprints and sports accessories these trees includes pine fir spruce and cedar and the animal that are found over here are fox mink black and brown bears are the animal that are found over here grasslands the area that receive lesser rainfall have a grasses growing between the trees these areas with a long and tall grasses covering a wide stretches of the land are called grasslands half the area of the world is covered by the grassland so the grasslands are broadly classified into two types that is tropical and the temperate grasslands so let's have a discussion regarding this tropical grasslands are found in the tropical zone on either side of the rainforest they are extensively located in the continent of africa 
and uh, where they are called as savannas. They are also found in the northern Australia, Brazilian highlands and the Guiana highlands. They have a dry season with some rainfall in summer. The landscape is dotted with tall and coarse grasses interspread with small trees and stunt thorny bushes. The animals that are found over here are elephants, giraffe, zebra, leopards are the animals which are popular in the grasslands. The temperate grasslands are located in the mid latitude and the rainfall is inadequate here and hence these areas are treeless with varying height of grasses. The temperature varies between 20 degrees Celsius in winter and 21 degrees in summer. These grasslands have a short grasses with a shattered trees like willow, alder and poplar. Paris dogs, coyote, kangaroo, ostrich and emu can be seen here. Now what are shrubs? Shrubs, they are the dry areas like arid and semi-arid region they are found. The shrub grows in the areas of a very high and low temperature and the scanty rainfall. Thus, they are found either in the hot deserts or in the very cold regions like tundra. Then you have natural desert, desert vegetation. This desert vegetation are usually found in the hot and the dry deserts. Uh, it, that is in the western part of the tropical and the subtropical regions. These areas experience very high temperature and very low rainfall. Therefore, the vegetation of these areas has a thorns and wax coated leaves, thick and spongy stems and a long roots like cactus, thorny bushes and the coarse grasses. And the main vegetations these are found in the deserts. This is the scarce vegetation and the uh, scarce vegetation and scanty rainfall here do you, we find over here. Then you have a tundra vegetation. Under the tundra vegetation is uh, here we find uh, in the high latitudes of the northern hemisphere especially in Eurasia and North America and in the high altitude of mountains. D during the short summer seasons when the snow covers or melts mosses, leeches and the short grasses covers the ground. These are called as meadows. The next is wildlife. The existence of the wildlife is essential to maintain a balance in our environment. It is a significant part of our ecosystem. No one knows exactly how many different kinds of animals are there in the world. Over a million species are already known and catalogued. Many new animals, especially small ones, are discovered every year. So let's discuss one by one what kind of an wild animals that are found in different parts of the world. The greatest variety of the wildlife is found in the equatorial forest. So let's see what kind of animals are found. Now let's see the different type of animal that are found in the world. The first is Africa. In Africa is a rich wildlife where you find the elephants, hippos, rhinos, pythons, crocodiles, gorillas, apes and chimpanzees. Whereas in the South America, you find the rich diversity of the wildlife that is rhea is a fightless birds. And uh, apart from the ostrich, we do find the condor, which is the largest bird of prey in the world. Then you also find the anacondas, which are usually found in the marsh lands. And the other animals includes monkey, pumas, jaguars, alligators and the jane turtle. Then you have the North America. In the North America, that is the northern part of the North America, experience very cold climate. Thus, the animals have a thick fur to keep them warm. So here we find the animals like the reindeers, musk, oxen, bisons, mooses, etc. Then you have a, uh, this uh, Europe. In the Europe, we have a limited wildlife as most of the forests have been cleared. The main animal species that are found in the continents are polar bear, wolves, wild boars, wild sheep, and the birds which are found over here are cuckoos, skylarks, and nightingales. And Asia will discuss in the next slide. So with this, we have finished the animals which are found in America. Uh, this is South and North America, then animals which are found in the Africa and Europe. Now let's see the animals that are found in Asia. In Asia, we do find the animals like monkey, leopard, tiger, elephant, lions. And these animals are found in the tropical areas. Whereas the cranes, bear, foxes, these are found in the temperate areas. 
then we'll see the animals that are found in australia in australia we have the animals like kangaroos koalas and uh, the birds like emus kingfishers are the animals that are found in australia then the animal that are found in antarctica in antarctica there is plenty of life where the land and the water meet the water bodies which surrounds the continent has a creature which range from small krills to whales like penguins we have snow petrels then we have seals uh, these are the animals which are found in the antarctica and small white drove uh, this is snow petrel it is a small white drove which resembles like a dove so uh, these are the animals which are found in antarctica